Welcome back Glamour Gang. So this is another sponsored video brought to you guys by Doe Lago. Now this is their 613 Blonde 14 inch wig. It comes with a wig cap along with elastic band should you need that. And I am going to be coloring this unit for you guys within this video. Taking a quick look at the inside of this unit, it does come with four combs, one on each temple and one in the top middle. It also has one in the back of the unit along with those little elastic bands so you can make the wig tighter. It is a glueless wig. Taking a look at this hairline, you guys can see you really don't need to do anything with this hairline. To me, it's fine as is. So with the lace, you only get about an inch and a half of parting space on the sides and then you get the six inches within the middle part of the unit. So this is what the wig looks like without me doing anything to it. I felt like the back of the wig was a little too thick in my opinion and a little too long. It is 14 inches, but I'm kind of short. So 14 inches comes past my shoulders. So I'm gonna go in and thin the back of this wig out using my thinning shears as well as kind of cleaning up the bottom of the wig as well. Here I'm just parting out the very top. I wanted to make sure that if I decide to part my hair on this side that it is only the base color of the wig and you guys will see that later on within the video. And then here at the bottom side of the wig this is where I'm going to be placing majority of the colors. The parts of the hair that are not clipped away are the parts that's going to be the base color. The base color that I'm going to be using within this video is like an indigo blue. Now this is blonde hair, it has a blonde cap, so it's okay to get the color actually on the wig because you don't want any of that blonde seeping through. For this hair I decided to use the Kiss Express hair color and I will be using six different colors within this video. Just as a reference for you guys, these three colors are electric yellow true red and orange marmalade and the remaining three colors are emerald aquarius and midnight blue and i decided to use the midnight blue as the base color that's that indigo purplish blue color that you guys will see on majority of the unit this part is pretty much self-explanatory so i didn't feel the need to record this i just color all of the base of the hair that i knew i didn't want multiple colors that midnight blue indigo blue color Okay, now straight into this color, you want to part out a rectangular shape part and space for the unit. And you want to make sure that the sides that you decide to color, if you decide to do this kind of style, that it actually goes to the middle back part of the head because you do want this color to kind of show in the back of your hair as well. So I'm just using my hands to kind of push the color in there. This first color is the truly red color and I'm bringing it closer to the roots because I will be coloring the roots a separate color. You want to do this again with the second space, again a rectangular shape, make sure it's going towards the back of the head. And this color is the orange marmalade and I'm just going to push it towards the roots of the hair. The next color is electric yellow and I'm going to continue following these steps until I have applied each color to the remaining portions of the hair. Okay, now this is where I kind of messed up. That emerald green color, y'all, that is not green. That is blue. <laughs> so I had to go back and mix up the Aquarius along with the electric yellow in order to make the tone of green that I prefer. So that's just a warning for you guys. You may not want to choose emerald to if you don't want that dark bluish color green. And also, you could probably just save some money and mix the colors to, together yourself to make the colors that you want. Now this last color that I'm applying is the Aquarius Blue. This is right before I get to the portions of the hair that I wanted to blend in with the back color, which is the Midnight Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the hair, make sure I reach towards the roots so there is no line of demarcation. At this point, I had noticed that some of the colors were bleeding together. That is why I personally prefer to use cream colors over liquid colors because they don't bleed as much. So what I'm going to do is allow for this wig to sit so the hair can kind of, the color can dry to the hair. I'm going to be putting that midnight blue on all of the blonde section and then black at the root. Okay, so the wig size is 21 and a half inches. That is my natural circumference size. Again, if it's still too big, you can kind of use the little tabs towards the back of the head to make it slightly tighter. Um, so the lace is a little long, slightly over my ear. So I'm going to be cutting each side of the lace so that it lays at the proper measurement for my face. 
In this video, as well as many others, I'm using the Ebbins Lace Wig Glue. You guys can find this at your local beauty supply store. It's only $3. I'll make sure I put a link down in the description bar, just in case you guys are interested. Now, you're supposed to put two layers, but I always put one, because I don't like wearing wigs to sleep. And I'm going to attach both sides of the unit. Once it's attached, I'm going to go in and carve out my temple areas. I always cut that part of the wig shorter than the rest of the hairline. And then I'm also going to cut some baby hairs along um, my face as well. To lay down my hairline, I am going to be using the Design Essentials Foam Wrapping Mousse. Now this is the one that they have that is for curly hair. I prefer this one because it sticks a lot better than the regular foam mousse. And then I'm going to go back with my dryer and dry everything into place. Okay, so I'm pretty much at the point of flat ironing my hair. I know I have dark roots and I did it like that for a reason. I really don't like when my roots are the same color as the rest of my hair. But you guys be able to see how it all blends together. And I really like how the black kind of makes the colors pop that much more. So I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my hair. And I'm going to do like a... Uh, different parts just to show you guys how you can rock this wig now as far as like the lace part where the hair is here on the lace you only get this much part and space on the very sides of the wig and then the middle is where most of the part and space is so you can't really do like a deep side part even though this is a 13 by 6 um lace wig you don't get as much part and space as like a regular 13 by 6 frontal however if you prefer to have something that's already ready-made, this will be like the perfect wig for you. I had to go in and remove some of the bulk from the back of the unit. So the back of the wig was really thick as far as the back bottom part. So you could just kind of go in with some thinning shears and remove all of that bulk from the bottom of the hair in the back. So the back of the wig is much thicker than the front sides of the wig. Of course, that's probably because the frontal part is up here in the front. Okay, so even though you can't do like a deep side part, you can still get a side part on both the left and the right side of the wig. And you can kind of blend out these colors, depending on which color you want to show the most. So I'm going to try to bring some of this yellow and the green towards the front. So you could definitely have a side part. This is my left side. And then like the rest of the colors just kind of blend. on this side I think I might go back and cut some bangs I'm not sure yet and if you didn't want to necessarily rock apart you really don't have to you could kind of do the flip over style with this and just put the bottom half behind your ear like so and then you could take more of the color that's on this side and you can kind of bring it over towards the front. And to keep this from falling in your face, you could just take a little bit of holding spray and kind of take a blow dryer and blow this with the hair going back. Let me see if I can do that. Matter of fact, then I can show you guys so it won't fall into my face. Just kind of spray right here in the front. And kind of brush that out so it doesn't be stiff and hard then I can take my blow dryer and just want to kind of hold this into place like so 
And of course, you can always go in and cut this a little bit more to give it a little bit more structure. But this is with like a flip over bob. Bring some of this orange up towards the front, as well as some of this red. You could flat iron this to kind of swoop towards the back. And of course, if you wanted to, you could actually slither this to make it more like shorter like this. And of course, if you want to kind of hide your colors and switch it up and you prefer more of this like deep purplish blue color, this indigo at the top, you kind of switch this over. over to the right okay so as far as the pros and cons concerning this unit if there was a con I feel like the back of the unit is super thick but that's something you could solve just by removing some of the bulk in the back of the hair and you could take thinning shears and that's really simple for you to go ahead and remove some of that bulk the lace was transparent lace so I know that's a lot of a lot of you guys concerned what color the lace is it was transparent lace so it can blend in with anyone's skin complexion you can just dye the lace to blend in with your complexion i feel like the transparent lace is probably easier for people to tint that's why people like it so much however if you don't tint it in my opinion it just makes like a little white halo around your hairline so one of the things that i've noticed with this hair if you guys can't see from my hands how they're turning blue i'm not sure if it's the hair itself and the color is bleeding from the hair or if it's actually the hair color because normally y'all know i stick to joyco very k pack because it's a cream consistency hair color so it sticks to the hair better than like a liquid hair color if that makes sense if any of you guys ever shampooed or conditioned a wig that you color and you notice that the color keep washing away from the hair that's very prevalent with liquid hair colors if that makes sense so to me i kind of feel like it's probably the hair color because only thing i see really on my hand is blue i'm not getting any of the red and i've touched it i've even ran water over specific pieces to see if it continued to bleed and it seemed like it's only the blue hair color so i would say maybe try to find a different um it's not really blue it's more like indigo so if you could find like a different indigo hair color instead of using the kiss i'm not sure if any of you guys have had this um, happen with your kiss hair color but for whatever reason only the blue keeps running from the hair so um i've colored blonde wigs before for other companies and in a previous video when i colored the hair blue you could see like there were a whole bunch of blonde strands still visible within the hair and i colored it multiple times so it was obvious that that particular hair had a lot of fillers in it with this hair all of the hair is colored there is not one single blonde hair strand left inside of this wig so i really like the fact that it did color i really like that the hair stills look healthy it's shiny yeah and all of that good stuff so yeah i probably can go back and cut you know a little bit of layers here in the front to make it a little bit more structured but overall i really like this hair i really like this wig if you're looking for something quick and easy to color you don't have to worry about making the wig you can just purchase it and get to coloring i feel like if you want a 13 by 6 wig you're not really concerned about how much lace you got towards like the sideburn area this will probably be the perfect unit for you it's worth the price as far as the wig you guys let me know what y'all think about this color what y'all think about this wig and there is a link to the company's website down below just in case you guys are interested i also leave links for the hair color product that i use as well for you guys everybody's been rocking with me for a minute what it do and for those of you who are new to my channel welcome to the glam fam we're all family over here Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, thumbs up this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.